How you doing, everyone? Let's talk about NAN and ISNAN. Now, NAN, N-A-N, as you can see right here, this is a special property that belongs to the global object within JavaScript, and it represents not a number. So anything that is not a number will be represented by this special property. There is also a method that belongs to the global object as well as the number object called isNan. So is not a number. So you want to know if something inside of a variable is a number or not a number. You can stick the variable inside of here and it'll tell you. Now, most of the time, it makes sense. Uh, the word hello is not a number. So if I were to run the function isNan, I'm going to be getting true. It is not a number. If I stick a number inside there, it's going to come back false because it is a number. However, there are some, as with all the good things in JavaScript, there's some, not necessarily unpredictable, but some unusual cases where we really should be aware of what could happen. So I have four variables that I've defined here. And T, F, N, and U for true, false, null, and undefined. And I'm going to run the isNan function on these four things. Now, at first glance, you look at that and say, okay, well, true is not a number, false is not a number, null is not a number, undefined is not a number, so I should be getting true for all of these. But we don't. And that has to do with the way that isNan runs internally. What it does first is it will convert anything that you pass to it to a number. So it does something like this. Number, and then you put inside of it the thing that you want to te test. So if I say let A equal the result of this, and then we log that out. I've also done my, something I do fairly commonly is I define the variable log, actually I should do that, log is equal to console.log, so I'm just, this is my short form for console.log. Now if I run this, there we go, one. If you run a casting of the value true the data type, the boolean data type, the value true, cast that into a number, what you get back is 1. So if I were to say, is 1 a number? I'm going to be getting back the fact that it is a number, so this function is going to return false. It's not not a number, which can hurt your brain sometimes. Is nan false? If I cast this to a number, I get 0. So true is going to give me 1, false is going to give me 0, null is going to give me 0, undefined is going to give me not a number. So when I ask it is not a number, that's what we're going to get here. All right, now let's log out all of these and we will see the result. True, false, Null and undefined. Oops, a couple of active characters there. We'll run this. There we are. False, 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 true. So these three, after they're casted into a number, will actually be numeric values. Undefined comes up as nan. So is it not a number? Yes, it is not a number. So that will give us true. Now there are a few other. Uh, unusual cases that we should take into account. Uh, if I was to do is nan on a number, that's going to give me back false, as you would expect, because it is a number. So this one will return as false. This is going to return false. This is going to return false. This is going to return false or falas. This one's going to return true, because it is. Not a number, and then we can pass into there, let's say, the string 45. This will give us false, because the casting into a number is going to turn this from a string into an actual number. If we take a number with decimal place and wrap it inside of here. That will be false because it gets turned into a number. So if it's a number, 
this is going to return false. Another one to consider new date. This will be a timestamp, therefore it is a number, therefore we get false back. Uh, if we take an empty string, this will get turned into the number zero, which in turn will give us the answer false. If we have a string that has nothing but spaces in it, this will also be turned into the number zero, and so it will return false. If we take a date object where we actually provide a date, so let's say um, the 28th of August 2017, that will come back as true. That'll say, oh, I've got a date object, and I've got this string inside of there. New date starts off as a timestamp. Actual date turns into the date string. Therefore, this one's going to give us true because it's not a number. Casting it will give us not a number. Therefore, isNan will return true. It is not a number. And yeah, that's the list. So, with the exception of undefined and a date with this, the rest of these will actually give us false values. So an empty string, a string with nothing but spaces, some sort of numeric value with or without decimal places wrapped as a string will get converted into a number, so therefore false. A number, false. Null, false, true. These will all give us false because of that implicit conversion that takes place before the test. So it tries to turn it into the value not a number, or something else. And just one last comment, as I say here uh, up at the top. Anytime that you compare nan to something else, anything other than the property nan, you are going to get not equal. There is no equality between nan and anything else. Nan is one of the falsy values. So we had null, undefined, empty string, zero, um, null, undefined, empty, string, the number zero, all the boolean false, of course, and nan. Any of those will return a falsy value. If you're putting it inside of an if statement, you're going to get the falsy response to it. But if you compare nan to any of the other falsy values, you will get inequality they will not be equal to each other. Even though they are all falsy, they're not the same thing. All right, so that's nan and is nan. Hopefully that helps, and you can save this list. I'll save this as a gist and leave the link down in the comments. Hopefully this will help you to avoid any problems that you have in the future if you're doing any sort of validation on data and you're using is nan to check. Make sure that you remember it is going to be converted into a number before the actual test for isNan occurs. Alright, thanks for watching. Any questions, please leave them in the comments.